Hello and welcome in. Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Universal Audio software to version 11.6. Version 11.6 has new improvements for the Apollo X series and the Apollo X series Gen 2. It also has compatibility changes to support the newest DAWs out in the market right now. Apollo X series improvements include all speaker utilities available for desktop models, mute solo trim and metering features for subwoofer output, and Apollo 16D clocking improvements. Now the main reason I wanted to upgrade is for the compatibility changes. I have the newest version of Luna, which is 1.8. I also have Logic Pro 11. The software is compatible with both of those, as well as Ableton and Pro Tools. For Mac users, it's compatible with the latest OS versions of Mac, including Sequoia 15, and also Windows 10 and 11 if you're a Windows user. For those of you who have the new UAD console, it supports all the new features. Let's take a look at how we can install version 11.6. Open up UA Connect. If you don't have it, you can check out this video here and where to go to download it. Hit the update button and the installer will download. Once complete, hit the install button. The software package is going to run a utility to make sure it can install on your machine. You'll be greeted by a README page, which talks about where you can find release notes and other useful information via links on UA's website. The next page is a license agreement. It's always a good idea to read through the license agreement. So go ahead and read through it. And if you want to move forward, hit the continue button. I'm going to go ahead and hit agree, but before I do so, I'm going to uncheck this box because I don't want to share statistics with UA. Before you install, make sure you have about 20 gigs of space on your machine because the package is about 17.4 gigs. The installer begins to write files, do validation, and run scripts in the background. It's going to ask permissions to access various folders. So go ahead and click yes to any pop-ups that come up. Now the one thing that we are going to have to do is we're going to have to change a setting in our security preferences. So go ahead and open up your security preferences. And then we're going to go to security and privacy and click the padlock down on the left. Go ahead and type a password in if it prompts you. On the bottom where it says system software from developer Universal Audio has been updated, click the allow button. I'm going to choose not to restart at the moment and finish with my installation package. I'm going to close out of security and privacy and return to the installer. It's going to finish installing any remaining scripts and components necessary. Once complete, you should see an installation successful message. And that's it. You just upgraded to version 11.6. Guys, if you got value out of this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.